if you want to know how to use sets to solve problems on probability then this lesson is for you the question we shall be using to explain how to go about solving it is question 45 and uh, question 43 this question 43 is drawn from wase 2022 general mathematics and it reads a a local community has two newspapers, the Morning Times and the Evening Dispatch. The Morning Times is read by 45% of households and the Evening Dispatch by 60%. If 20% of the households read both papers, find the probability that a particular household reads at least one paper. So to start with, let me emphasize that this problem only deals with those households that read at least one paper. So we are not concerned about, about those that do not read anything. We are only going to focus our attention on those that read at least one uh, paper. So how do we go about this? First, M represents morning times. That is one of the paper. Then the evening dispatch is represented by E. If we go back to the question from the second statement, we are told that the morning times is read by 45% of households. So we can indicate that by saying N sub NM to give us what? 45%. That is to say 45% of the household read morning times. Now, if you go further, we are told that the evening dispatch is read by 60% of the household. So the number of those that read the in evening dispatch is what? 60%. Now we know that the total percentage which gives the universal set, all right, is what? 100 what percent. And if you go to the question, we are told that if 20% of the household read both papers, now how do we represents that now we can represent it as n there's a number of those that read both papers now the m for the morning times then this symbol means intersection that means what is common to both m and e and since we are told that 20 percent read both papers we are going to put our word 20 percent here so we have to represent this information on a Venn diagram. And to do that, first I will draw this oval shape here. And I will draw another one to overlap. Now for the first one, this first oval shape represents M, which we have 45%. Then the next one there represents E, which we have 60%. And for the common um elements between m and m we are going to put our 20 percent here then i can envelope this diagram in i can put it here in a rectangular uh, form which represents the universal set since all subs all sets are subset of the universal set so i'll put my 100 percent here you will realize that there is no value written in this part where I am pointing at now, as well as this part. Now, this particular part represents the households that read only morning times, while this one represents those that read only evening dispatch. So, how are we going to represent that? Let's, let's get this first. Now, those that read only morning times can be written as M intersection E prime now this e prime means that um the household did not read the word the evening dispatch now to get the value for this we are taking the total 45 percent of m minus the 20 percent for both m and e and if we do that subtraction is going to give us what 25 percent so this 25 percent to write it here 25 percent to show that 25 percent read only morning times now we'll do the same thing for the next set 
So those that read that do not read the morning times but only read the evening dispatch can be gotten as 60 minus minus what minus 20 and if we do that subtraction we are going to have 40 percent so we come here we'll write our 40 percent so this is what we have now now let's go to the question the question now says that we should find the probability that a particular household reads at least one paper now to get the probability of a household reading at least one paper now see what i'm going to do it now the probability will become the probability of reading only morning times and the morning times is what those that read only morning times is 45 upon 100 okay we convert the 25 percent to fraction and that's what we did here then plus those that read only evening dispatch which is 40 upon 100 then plus those that read twin um that read both one both morning times and evening dispatch and that is what 20 upon 100 the reason why we are including this is because the question says at least one paper so at least means one paper and above one paper and that's how we have these values here so if we quickly do this addition we are going to have 25 plus 40 plus 20 that will give us what 80 85 then we divide this by 100 and if we do this division we're going to have 0 0.85 and this is going to be the answer to this problem now if we go quickly to the options we we'll see that we are having 0 0.85 which is the what option c